But yeah, that, that PA is fantastic because obviously uh, it means we can reference on three different sets of speakers in here. So, yeah. Um, yeah. So I love. It's great because it means when you get it out of the car, have a listen to the car, it's like, oh, yeah. this is exactly how it sounded in the studio. Brilliant. <laughs> Which is useful. Which is the holy grail, man. Judicious. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Well, I'm happy to compromise. You see, if you say A and I say B, uh, 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 then and then we, we we negotiate. Then, yeah, I think it will be nicely in the middle there. Yeah. We'll see. Um, in there. Uh, yeah. This looks like yeah. something I've worked on. Yeah. And the way I can tell, look, there's hardly anything going on. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You wouldn't believe the number of people who come in here with projects that they've recorded at home. Yeah. And it's like twenty plugins per track every single yeah. channel absolutely slammed a million yeah. tracks uh, i think i put them in oh, blocks yeah, look, you've got quite a few. i put them in blocks and i brought them in and uh um you basically I, we put them dry and then you just put yep. your own your own uh plugins on there yep but well, i guess what i'm saying is these days mm. i like to keep it very simple yeah um it's taken me 10 years no 15 years really yeah to, to kind of um get to the stage where i'm comfortable yeah. Working simply. Oh, this is quite cool. Get a shot of this. Ah. Yeah, well, I get a shot of you getting a shot. Yeah, it all happens all the time. <laughs> this is the trainers. Yeah. It's a bit of a running joke with my clients in here that every yeah. time I go to touch something, I just kind of sheepishly <laughs> walk over it. It's like. It doesn't look as heavy as the other one you had before. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's. Uh, yeah. It's pretty nuts, this one. I really like the sound of this desk. So, what's it? It's pretty sound, is okay. Yeah. Oh, pretty much their top of the range, I think. Yeah. Um, they do. They do one higher. You just bought this quite balance. recently. Hasn't yeah, you? yeah. It wasn't wasn't cheap, but yeah, it is rather delicious. And these are prefix plugins in uh, there. Those um, so I mean, you can. Uh, there's, there's a lot to this desk. All we're really doing is monitoring from the computer right. at the minute. Yeah, yeah. Um, so all I'm doing is uh, we're just sending from the computer yeah. over here to two channels and then you've got the sub as well. Right, okay. And we're just kind of determining how much sub we've got. Okay. And that's kind of down to this. <laughs> oh, sounds quite bassy. So I remember you were talking about redoing the bass uh, and the keyboards. The... It all sounds good. Do we have vocals or are they missing? They should be there somewhere. It's like the, the kick drum's very heavy around the kind of 40, 50 hertz area. Although it could be, it might be the subs turned up too loud. Maybe that's why we're hearing some flow and let me just hear something. Oh, your track is very bass heavy for some bizarre yeah. reason. I remember two things you said. You said, uh, I, I think you should really record the bass. I don't know for what reason, okay. and that you should redo the keys. Going. Yeah, because I think I, I, I wasted a lot of try, time uh, tuning with with a plugin, but you've got the best plugin, and you've obviously got the ear to do it well, really, really quickly. Just, it's just I, I, I really like Melodyne, yeah. um, and I use it so much now on so many different projects yeah. that it's become almost an essential tool for me All right. for everything we do. Here. And one of the reasons I love it so much is because it's got the ability to say you've got a singer who's very like, oh, yeah. lots of vibrato. Yeah. You can go in with Melodyne and just soften and it up, soften really. the pitch modulation of that vocal. Okay. So instead of, oh, you get, oh. So it doesn't say so, 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 so theatrical. And yeah, 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 but it's yeah. also very useful if, if singers, because, you know, you're, it's doing exactly what what we just said, pitch modulation. Yeah. The pitch modulation is quite wide. Because yeah. it's the icing on the cake, the vocals, isn't it? The last yeah, let's, got let's be honest, you know, kick, snare, vocal, you know, this is what everyone, yeah. you know, because people want the groove, you want yeah. it to kind of like 
move yeah. the, and feel the groove yeah, in exactly. the tune. But also, that's where the energy of the song comes from, the yeah. rhythm section. Because see the main tune, the, the main hook that people are going to latch on yeah, to. Yeah, because you don't hear the vocals until the, the vocals. after the intro, do you? So you hear the yeah. intro and you say, oh, that drum and bass sounds really cool. This is going to yeah. be a great song. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you just wait for the vocals and, and listen to the vocals and everything else is kind of in the periphery. But you do focus on the vocals. Yeah, absolutely. Kick, snare and vocal, it's a holy mm. trinity.